हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर चैनल स्टॉक्स फैक्टर होप यू आर डूइंग वेल फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट ऑफ द डेरिवेटिव एनालिसिस सीरीज ट्यूटोरियल वीडियोस व्हिच वी हैव स्टार्टेड पोस्टिंग एंड इन दिस स्पेसिफिक वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक ओपन इंटरेस्ट और द क्यूमुलेटिव ओपन इंटरेस्ट हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट इट एनालाइज इट एंड हाउ टू यूज इट इफेक्टिवली फॉर ट्रेडिंग पर्पसेस सो फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द थ्योरी फर्स्ट फॉर दिस इंडिकेटर एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू जम्प टू द डैशबोर्ड इन विच वील सी हाउ टू एनालाइज द क्यूमुलेटिव ओपन इंटरेस्ट एंड हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्टॉक ट्रेंड आउट ऑफ दैट सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ आर वीकली मार्केट एनालिसिस वीडियोज डेरिवेटिव एनालिसिस सीरीज वीडियोज एंड अदर वीडियोज विच यू आर स्टार्टेड पोस्टिंग सो इन दिस आई एम स्पेसिफिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेरिवेटिव एनालिसिस सीरीज टूटोरियल वीडियोज and we have already published few topics like pcr and how to analyze the fi data using derivatives so you can see these videos i highly recommend you to watch these videos in order to analyze the data and how you can use this analysis to apply to for the trading purposes so friends if you want to access our dashboard as you can see we have already published our dashboard and the free trial version is already uh, available for the audience you can see and if you want to access the link for the dashboard you can drop us an email to this particular email id and we'll provide you the free access to this particular dashboard so let's get started so friends what is open interest so if you see the definition of open interest it means that the number of outstanding derivative contracts so it can be futures it can be options which have not been settled yet so it provides a more accurate picture of the trading activity in the near term so when we are talking about the market's direction in the near term so derivative data provides you a clear indication whether the money flows into the futures and options market are increasing or decreasing so basically if the open interest is increasing then the money is flowing into the markets or otherwise if the open interest is decreasing the money is going out of the markets so in this way you can analyze that how the money is flowing using the derivatives data so friends before we jump into the theory in more detail let me just tell you that uh, as you already know that in nifty there are around 130 stocks which are tradable in futures and options and also the indexes that is nifty bank nifty and one newly index that has been added which is nifty financial services on which you can start trading so now friends uh, if somebody talks about like how derivatives data affect the market or how the derivative section affects the price of the particular stock or index so friends let me tell you that as you already know that the volumes are high in derivatives data so in near term the price is very much affected by the derivatives positions so it is also affected by the cash market obviously the stocks which are not in the fno segment they are totally dependent on the cash market but for the stocks i am talking about those 130 stocks which are available in our dashboard so we have only kept those stocks those 130 stocks because those are the top uh, nifty 50 stocks and the quality mid cap stocks so as you already know that uh, the fno stocks are the filtered stocks from the nifty 50 and as well as the top quality mid cap stocks which are tradable in futures and options so that's the criteria for keeping the stock in fno that has to be a quality stock and has to have a specific market cap and turnover so friends in this way you need to understand that uh, the price of a stock in the near term is very much affected by the derivatives positions so in order to get the holistic picture not only you have to analyze the cash market data but you have to analyze it with conjunction with the derivatives data so derivatives data is equally important so that's why in our dashboard we have shown both the derivatives data and the cash market data and you have to see them together and make a picture out of it and and analyze it in a holistic way so open interest equals the number of bought or sold contracts not the total of both added together so basically uh, what do you, what do we mean by that so i am telling about the difference between the open interest and the volume and we'll come to that later so what is open interest open interest is the total number of contracts which are bought or sold so as you can see increasing open interest represents newer additional money coming into the market as we already discussed and the decreasing open interest means money flowing out of the market now let's try to understand how the open interest is calculated for the stocks or how the number can be interpreted so let's see how it is done in a simplistic example so as you can see we have few players a b c d e so these are players which have come to the market and they are doing the trading activities so suppose on january 1 a buys one option so we are talking about here option contracts so uh, let me tell you so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the open interest and open interest is generic for uh, like 
futures and options so it applies to both the contracts but in the later videos we'll also discuss specifically about what are futures and what are options and how to analyze their data so in this video we are going to understand the concept of open interest which applies to both futures and options so you see suppose a buys one option it can be a future contract also so and b sells one option contract so i mean there is one trade between a and b so a has bought one option and b has sold one lot of option so now the total open interest is one because now one contract has been opened between two parties so the open interest is now one not two now in january to next day c buys five options and d sells five contract options now in this case again five new contracts have been added so now added with the previous one so now the total contracts become five plus one that is six on january 2 now on january 3 you can see a sells his first option so the a bought the first option on january 1 now he's selling to d so now what will happen is new open interest is not getting added a is closing its position and b is buying the same position so basically now a has closed the position so open interest will decrease by one not add by one and similarly if you see in january 4 e buys five options from c so you you saw that c bought the five options on january 2 now in january 4 e buys that five options and c sells that so c closes its positions and e opens uh, his position so it has just transferred from one person to another so the open interest remains the same that is five so in this way the open interest is calculated in the exchange now let us try to understand what is the difference between the open interest and the volume so taking the same example uh, we have taking the same days so you see here if we were to calculate the volume so what would do the number of volume be so on the first day the volume would have been one so now on january 2 what would have happened you, you see the five new so open interest and volume would have remained the same now on january 3rd you can see that a sells his first option that is one option he bought on january 1st and d buys the one option contract so now six plus one that is seven so the volume would be seven but the open interest would be five and on january 4 we saw that e buys for five options from c who sells five options so the open interest is five but the volume is now 12 7 plus 5 12 so in this way the volume and open interest are calculated and both are different so which one we should analyze in case of derivatives data friends in case of derivatives data open interest is the main indicator as compared to volume because that tells you how many outstanding contracts are still standing in the market okay so how many open positions are there in the market and that tells you the and that positions can be added by a strong player or a weak player depending on what the open interest has been added and how much the price has moved so if the price has moved very high or uh, i mean more than five percent or so as we have highlighted in our dashboard and the open interest also increases significantly then it means that the big player has entered into that particular stock and if it if the if, uh, changes are very marginal one percent or two percent it means the weak player has entered into the market so in this way you can analyze the data and you can see which player is entering like the big player or the or the weak player so you would all always want to follow the big player or the smart players who have more money in the market and who can who can move the stocks right so you want to follow those players so that you can ride a particular trend upside or downside our dashboard provides you that holistic picture in which you can analyze a particular derivatives data in conjunction with the cash market data and also the options data combined so you get a holistic picture on how to analyze and how to interpret the trend out of that particular data so friends uh, in this way the open interest is calculated now let's see what is cumulative open interest and why we should look at the cumulative open interest rather than the open interest of particular expiry only so as you already know that open interest can exist in the current month weekly expiry or far month expiries so in case of index you already know that there are weekly expiries and monthly expiries both but in case of stocks you only have monthly expiries and most of the liquidity you will find in the current monthly expiry only in case of stocks so in india in case of stocks what happens is the liquidity is very high in the current month in next month you may not find that much liquidity and in the next two months the liquidity will be very low in index you will find a lot of liquidity because 60 percent more than 60 percent of the volume of the total market is now only the index volume right so index is very heavily traded instrument so the maximum part of that uh, totally traded volume of the market is 
in the index only index like nifty bank nifty and now the nifty financial services and rest is divided among the 130 stocks so friends in this way you can analyze the cumulative open interest so if you only analyze the current monthly expiry but what happens is suppose the expiry is only 10 days left then you cannot only just see the numbers of current expiry because what happens is some players start making the fresh positions in the next expiry right because as soon as the uh, current month expiry comes near what happens is some players start buying or start rolling their positions or start buying fresh positions in the next expiry rather than current expiry so you need to combine that and analyze together so as to get the holistic picture because the current month number only may not give you the total open interest standing for that particular stock right so in order to get the major support and resistance levels also from the option chain you need to understand the cumulative open interest in case of options also so futures also and options also you need to see the cumulative open interest which means you need to add up all the open interest for all the expiries then see the open interest which will give you a clear picture and the holistic picture right so friends this is the theory of the open interest and which indicator to look at we are talking about cumulative open interest rather than the current expiry now let's see how we have shown that in our dashboard and how you can look at those numbers so friends now we are on our dashboard so let's switch to the pages where we have specifically shown the open interest data so let's start with the daily summary page here in the last four four five tables you can see that we have on the daily basis so this these tables are refreshed on daily basis so like on today's uh, day after trading day we have received the data and we have processed that data and you can see the tables uh, related to the FNO segment long build up short build up long unwinding and short covering so these stocks are filtered for you in which the long build up was done the short build up the long unwinding and the short covering so now you can see this term COI percentage so this COI is cumulative OI that is cumulative open interest we are not showing only the current monthly expiry open interest we are combining all the open interest for all the expiries and then showing you the number so this gives you the more clear picture so for example in case of torrent power you see that a very high open interest has been added cumulative open interest so this is a significant open interest for a particular stock and you see the price rise so it means this stock now a big player has entered a smart player has entered into a stock and you can also ride the momentum by keeping your stop loss for this particular day's low so because this player this big player has started buying the positions from today's low for this particular stock and whenever the next trading day comes you can make your positions at the near strike price so that you can hedge your positions and ride along with the smart player so friends in this way you analyze the data and similarly you can see the short build up uh, which is he very heavy on the cumin cent so in this way we have shown the cumulative OI percentages and the price difference tells you whether it is long position or short positions in case of futures right so now this is the futures data now let's switch to the page of nifty and bank nifty so we have separated the page for index and stock analysis because uh, both needs to be analyzed differently because in nifty we have weekly expiries and you already know that nifty and bank nifty are only future traded instruments they are not in the cash market so the data is different the data is a little bit different for both of them so we need to analyze both the instruments from different perspective so let's see uh, first the bank nifty and nifty so how to in how to see the open interest of index so you we have already shown that in our dashboard so there are multiple graphs which are showing you the cumulative open interest so one trend is you can see uh, we are showing for bank nifty similarly you can select uh, the nifty here so you see here we are showing the expiry on expiry month month by month trend that is uh, last day of each expiry is one data point so you are seeing the multi month trend uh, cumulative monthly month trend for for a particular for this index and how the futures position is getting added or uh, squared up and the how the price is behaving so this is telling you that nifty is continuously going up and there was open interest decrease so it means short covering has been done by month by month right so, so there was short positions so they were squared up in bank nifty so uh, similarly this is day wise so this is month wise and then if you want more granularity you see each day wise data point so this gives you a more clear picture if you are making your positions from a shorter perspective like 10 to 15 if you are a short term trader if you are a swing trader if you are a positional trader then you can also follow this particular graph then you see the max pain which is based on option change data and the cumulative oi 
for uh, that is the option chain and this option chain shows you the cumulative OI for each strike price so suppose in case of index uh, suppose uh, bank nifty is trading at 32,000 so on 32,000 strike price there can be open interest on the current weekly expiry also next weekly expiry also and next to that so we are combining all the expiries open interest of all the expiries and then showing you the number which is giving you a more clear picture right so in this way you can analyze the option chain for each strike price the cumulative open interest and on the last we have a table in which you can see the complete data in in a holistic way you, you can see that the futures cumulative open interest the oi change on a daily basis what is the price change what is the oi change in terms of percentage in futures then the rollover percentage which is more relevant when the uh, day of expiry comes and then the call oi change and the put oi change and the total call oi standing at uh, on all the strike prices combined and the put oi and which is the point where the maximum call writing is done and maximum put writing so in this one row gives you the whole clear picture it tells you the whole story of what is going on in that particular index or particular stock so and, and it tells you whether short covering is going on long position and when you see that a, a huge long position is getting added more than 5% we have highlighted in our dashboard so you see it means a big player has entered right so you see that so much long positions price rise put writing and call unwinding so that clearly means it is a very bullish trend very bullish trend going on so in this way you can analyze the data then coming quickly to the stocks so let's do the uh, how how you can see the cumulative open interest in case of stocks so friends as you already know that in case of stocks the monthly expiry is there there is no weekly expiry so uh, this is again month by month trend similar to one we saw in index that is expiry on expiry trend and then the daily trend you can see the daily cumulative futures open interest trend then this is the PCR trend put call ratio trend and then uh, max pen theory and the cumulative OI change graph so again uh, at every strike price you can see the change in open interest and the cumulative open interest so we are seeing the uh, bank, bank of Proda stock and you can see how the maximum put right call writing is at 70 that is the total OI combined for current and the next month also if any uh, call writing has been done and similarly for the put writing so this this gives you the complete picture for the option chain and similarly uh, at the bottom you can see the similar table which we saw in index row by row for each day the whole holistic picture you can see uh, how the positions are getting added and squared up so uh, in this way you can analyze the cumulative OI so at every data point whether it is an option data or the futures data we are showing the cumulative OI rather than the only the current month expiry so friends with this we come to the end of this video if you have any questions regarding open interest cumulative open interest or how to see that data in our dashboard we have already started our derivative analysis series tutorial videos so uh, I highly recommend you to watch these videos in which we have also discussed the use cases of how to capture a particular trend in a particular stock or index using uh, uh, the PCR uh, that is the option chain and combining it with the futures data also so we have we have already shown there and we will see some more examples going forward where we will analyze how to capture the swings or, or do the positional trading on a particular stock or index by analyzing the uh, multi month data and the cumulative OI data so we'll cover more use cases in the coming videos but if you have any questions regarding this particular video you can post on the comment section and we will definitely answer your questions and if you want to access the dashboard please drop us an email to this particular email id and we will mail you the link of this particular dashboard which is freely accessible to our audience right now and you can take the benefit of this particular dashboard and we request you to please subscribe to this channel so that you get the notification of our videos which we are posting regularly so that you can understand that the derivative analysis and the derivative data analysis specifically is highly effective as compared to any other analysis if you are doing for a particular stock or index so this is equally important and this actually tells you the exact positions or the or the numbers which are uh, going on in the market at the end of the day so because at the end of the day what matters is the actual positions which have been opened in the market so the derivative data gives you that picture so friends see you in another video take care and goodbye